What is up and is going on guys, Simsy here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Total War Rome 2. Uh, a fair few stuff has happened, I've skipped a lot of turns and uh, let's slowly get straight into it. Um, I was having problems with public order, um, eventually I just pretty much sat back, increased the taxes until I had a decent amount of money to start upgrading Carthage, so the populace is actually not too bad, as in like happiness wise. I'm going to keep this small army here for the time being, but I do in fact have uh, Jupiter's Cock, Legion 1, moving down to take this rebel settlement. Um, it's up for grabs, we're already down in Africa, so we might as well go and take it instead of like moving back north before we uh, 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 fuck launch our invasion of the north. So while we're up in the north, let's talk about the Swaby have actually taken this settlement here. Um, I probably should get some... Greetings. I'm not going to aggressive pact with plain. them. No, they don't want anything. What about trade rights? Nope. Um, I was going to actually see it just to confirm. Um, no, we can't tell. As I said, like, uh, in the east, I was, like, making a quick estimate of what's happening over in the... Over in, uh, Egypt and whatnot. And I said, yeah, I would imagine that the solutions in the Egyptians are fighting each other pretty hard. Now, funnily enough... This has happened in the space of five turns. Both Egypt and Seleucids have, in fact, um, been destroyed and then they've been arised. So, I don't know if there's like a really big superpower like Parthia might have actually gone over there and just fucked some shit up. Or there's like another bigger one of the tribal factions. So I don't really know what's happening here, but it doesn't really bother me seeing as I'm only here at the moment. Um, funnily enough, guys, um, I would have shown the Battle of the Slave Rebellion at, at Atlantia, but... Can you remember the uh, Voliki spy that came over? I'm like, what the hell is he doing? Funnily enough, l well, luckily enough, the spy came over, spoke to the army. I don't know if he bribed them or assassinated their general, but they disappeared. So I didn't have to deal with a full stack of slaves. I was so happy about that. Maybe they were just like, here, we'll give you lands in our province. You join our, you join our, um, our country, and uh, increase the populace. So that's what's basically happening here. Um, I have also upgraded field engineers, so I'll be able to get them shortly. And I've got rid of the edict in Lilybomb, the bread and games. Now I've increased it to, to taxed harvesting, and in Rome I have bread and games because the populace isn't too happy. So that's what's happening, and that's pretty much all the gist of it. We're pretty much, yeah, they're really happy in Africa now that we've converted, even when we don't have the the provinces and the uh, the cultures at 55% here and. 59. So it's slowly converting, it's slowly converting. We still need, do need to keep a rather strong Ready for battle. host here. But I'm sure that will uh, not come away soon. So I'm hoping we'll have to do that rebel settlement rather uh, shortly. Take that. Yeah, so it'll be interesting if the Swaby march down because we did have military and trade right packs with that tribe that was there. I can't remember what they're called, but yeah, it'll be interesting if they come knocking at the door. We do have a full. We do have half a stack in the north, which we do need to upgrade some more. There are some Astarte there. It's good. I'm enjoying this campaign. Uh, once we've taken this rebel settlement, converted it, um, I could go to war with those guys to just unify the province of Africa. But man, I don't really care. We got trade rights with them. I don't really mind. We probably need to get some. I think. I don't know. If, I want to get like. I do believe we do need to get more alliances, um, but I don't really know who with. There's no really any like superpowers at the moment. I'm probably the biggest faction. I would like to. I would like to get like alliances with Sparta and Athens and maybe Macedon, but they don't want to have anything to do with me. They don't want trade rights. I have done non-aggression packs with them, but um, most of the African states and some of the states in Spain have. I've almost some have. I mostly well. I know for a fact, pretty much all the states in Africa have non-aggression packs and trade rights, and some in uh, Spain. Um, don't insult your ancestors, but you will see the merit in the offer I bring state. from no, my No, I don't really. No, no, I'm sorry. So maybe we need to start. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But eventually, during this campaign, I want to take all of Africa, all of Spain. I want to be the Romans. I want to conquer the known world. I'm going to do the victory achievements. Uh, we, we, we've played a... I don't know how long that's actually going to take, doing like 20-minute episodes a daily, so... I don't know. I don't know how we'll go. Um, duty calls. Um, do 
Now the last general I took was from the House of Julia. No, Junior, Julia, Junior. We'll go with you. We'll go with the cavalry. War declared. Don't really care. Factionalized Egypt. That's the third time that's happened. So yeah, I wasn't lying. There must be some real big problems over in the east. Now, who owns this? Contested. Yeah, we'll move my army Moving over here. The sea what are these guys' names? Nas... Oh... Nas... Ah... Monas. Nas... Ah... Monas. They have an alright amount of territories. I do want to increase... Oh, actually, I probably should... Seems we've got the money. We might as well upgrade the siege engine here. Keep the money. I don't know if we have, a matter of fact, have any slums anywhere. Like, this area is actually okay, even though we have, like... Um... 5% tax... Um, yeah, I think I might. Actually, these guys aren't really too happy, are they? Put that there. Preaches the public order. Oh, should I just wait? Because we do need to get some better buildings. Yeah, fiber. We're one. We're. Hang on, are they rebels? No, they're not. They're those guys. Uh, I'm just going to triple check that I do have all these aggression packs and whatnot, so I'm not, like, speaking out of my ass. Um, we'll go with Sparta. Greetings. Ah, treaties, non-aggression pact. Civilized you can't get a trade right So you may them. speak as you wish and... Athens. Greetings. We have a non-aggression pact. We are civilized they, folk. It's a moderate so trade rights. I'm happy to get, I'm happy to give you a little bit of money, Athens. I want to make good with the Adriatic. I'll give you 400. They still don't want anything to do with me. Okay, um, where are these guys? Oh, it says here we've got trading. Wow! Oh, shit, I didn't even take notice of that. Can we trade with these guys? Greetings! It's a low now trading speak plain. Okay, they don't want anything to do with me there. So, Athens, Swaby. Don't really want to trade with you. They don't want to trade with me. I don't want to trade with these guys because I'm probably going to go to war with them shortly. Okay. We're in the turn here. We'll have a lot more money next turn. We got 62 food, so we don't really need to upgrade our farms all that much. I guess it's basically public order and stuff. Looks like the Spartans have a very decent sized fleet in Apollonia. Oh, looks like the Swabia are taking another settlement. Hmm. That's why those guys wanted to be my uh, protectorate, so we could go up and save their ass, which I'm not really too keen on doing. So it looks like we're going to war with the Swaby. Maybe I was being a little bit uh, cocky in saying that we're the only big superpower at the moment. I don't mind making an alliance with like Egypt or Seleucus or a massive Spartan Greek force or Athens maybe, but with barbarians, no way. At least the the Greeks aren't barbaric. They've got some sort of structure and culture. <laughs> this is totally coming from a Roman's perspective, not not my perspective or opinion. This that's just, <laughs> I just insulted every Greek and like uh, a person from Greek or barbaric origin in this game. Whatever. Uh, modern day. And also sounds kind of wrong saying that I am Italian myself. So these are my ancestors fucking around here. Well, um, these turns seem to far. That is, a, I can't believe that there is still a massive fleet at Massalia. Like, are they troop ships or are they actual like? I don't know. I bet you one of them will be Seleucids or Egypt. So let's have a look. We can't quite tell. And since we have a lot more money now, I think that's actually time to recruit some agents because I have been neglecting them quite a lot. Um, and I think it'll be a good time to test it on Massalia. Okay, populace encouraged, populace inspired, faction rises, 
no, Pontus. None of them were actually Egypt or Seleucid, so I was wrong. <laughs> oh well. Um, Eight percent public order. We can always tear it. We can always tear down those buildings once we uh, once we move it along. Uh, how many turns? So we should be actually able to land here. Reporting. Moving out. And there's a pretty Your decent sized command. army. Your orders. You're kidding me. That is a These guys force. here, and they're gonna probably block it so I can't attack. It is an honor to serve Rome. Uh oh, this might be a bad decision. Your orders. Come on, attack. That course isn't open to us. And they have a lot of spies in the area as well. So that could have been a totally waste of time. Heading those extra five turns down south. We'll just have to see. But I'm really conscious of uh, the, uh, the, what are they called? Swaby. Um, I do have a spy somewhere. I thought I had more spies. Um, actually, let's have a look at this. 58% important characters. Servius. Kota. Septimus Camillus. Hmm. Other houses. Records. Turns. 76 turns. What about the objectives? Are there actually like time limits on objectives? Or is this like... What's the military conditions? Maintain 49 units. I currently have 17. That is crazy. I don't know if I'm ever going to go for one of those uh, military ones or I won't even have to go for an economic. I will try to finish these campaigns or... Like, it is still very, very much early days in uh, Rome. But there is a mission here to get one client state, isn't there? Be overlord of at least one client state and we get 2,000 for that. Well, is there just someone out, out there that's like, have one settlement? What are these guys? These guys are kind of lo they're on their lonesome. We have good. We have white right, relations. Become a client state. To listen if you speak you know, honestly. Anyone? Truth will be your sharpest weapon. No. Okay. What about these guys? Become a client. Oh, they're happy with us. Become a client state. Be welcome. If I can give no. you a fair... Looks like we're gonna. If we want someone to be a client state office, we're probably gonna have to do it with brute military force. And I'm going to end the turn here. Um, I really am hoping that we haven't wasted our time. Because I thought we would have had a battle this episode. But 13 minutes in. But mind you, I swear... I'm pretty sure for that the last... Pretty much every episode I do have a battle. So I'm kind of allowed to have... Not one battle. Uh, ever so often in an episode. It does happen. But it's not like anything is not happening. <laughs> um, the Swaby in the north. Uh are still a threat, and uh, well they're going to be a threat I reckon, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they attack me in the next couple of turns, seeing that my northernmost settlements in Italy are kind of weak, Massalia, or they, imagine that if the Swaby and Massali, um, the, I can't remember what they're called, the ships from Massalia invade northern Italy would have a right royal mess on our hands. Um, what? It is time to speak with an Offers make a client report. state. If you accept to do this faction will become a you client an become man. your client state. This client state's access to pension as a play tribute to their overlord. Make yeah. I I'm happy to do that. Who are you at war with though? These guys, so where are they? Okay, I don't really mind. I'm happy with that. Hang on a second. I'm confused. Did we just make them our client state? I thought it was these guys here. Or maybe they were allies with... What? Oh, it doesn't bother me. I'm quite happy to be either client state with either one of them. I didn't really read properly. I'm kind of... Kind of tripping balls at the moment. <laughs> hmm. But we got a client state, so we get 2,000 uh, gold, which is okay. The only problem is I don't want to be thrusted into any wars at the moment. So uh, I like to pick my walls. I don't like to 
join other people's. I like to join them, start them, and finish them. Looks like the Corey I threw back the Swaby. Masalia, Masalia. That'd be that's gonna be a decent settlement to take once we move over there. Faction encounters. Okay, so diplomacy. So it wasn't them guys. It was I thought. Hang on. Creating. I really did think it was these guys became a client state of me, but they didn't. These guys did. Now these guys are actually an all right power, I guess. They're a joint. They're a client state. Um, do we get that additional? Yeah, we got that two thousand. These guys aren't too bad. I thought we were going to, to be honest, I was going to attack them at some stage because I did want to unite this this province. But um, how many settlements do they have? They have one, two, three, three. But they are war with these guys, so it looks like they might be conquering uh, Spain. I don't think they're going to give us a fair bit of money from that though, from being my protectorates. But who are they at war with now? These guys. Actually, who are the total men they're at war with? They're in the. They're ending at war with these guys. These guys have. Canterbury. Sesti. Yeah. So they have. Yes, yeah, so that did kind of thrust us into a war. These guys have. Yeah, these guys are going to try to conquer Spain, and they're all. Enemies with them. <laughs> Well, we're interested to see how that goes. But mind you, that means we do have allies in Spain if we do want to take it. Um, but I don't think we're actually going to be able to take this. That's not going to happen. These guys are really in there. But I, I, I don't know why. I, I th I've done this in my Spartan campaign as well when I tried to take um, Brundisium. That didn't work. And I had to wait. So I think it is time to move north. Uh, we're going to eventually get here. So I do apologise guys, we're most likely not going to have a battle in this episode unless we get attacked, but... So, um, I basically would, uh, estimate... From now on we're going to be, um, just doing purely economical stuff. So we're upgrading the buildings here. I want to get, like, I want to get Carthage and, um... Yeah, I don't really need... I probably should upgrade Carthage more, being a little bit selfish. That is getting us a lot of money. Should I just make a ship right? A military wharf so we can get most of my... Yeah, bugger it. <laughs> um, if we're going to recruit farms, I'd much ra I would rather do it in the Naples, the actual like, Roman area. Because if we do get attacked, we're not going to attack there. There's no slums anywhere, are there? That I've accidentally like glossed over. No, I don't think there is. We're in the turn once more. So I do apologise, guys. I thought I would have had a battle. But I guess shit happens. We will yeah, I'll, I'll definitely start the next one off with a battle. If uh if we don't get a a bat if we don't get any battles in the next like four or so minutes. We'll just have to see. But I can't wait to go to war with the Swaby at some stage. But another good thing is we can start getting some uh, better siege equipment instead of just like shitty ballista. We can, I don't know, I don't know, I think we can get oranges. I don't even know, we just up, we upgrade our siege equipment essentially. And uh, if we do a shipwright we can get some good stuff. So that means Rome is our military, our, our infantry, sorry. Uh, infantry, our sword, our spear, our main, our main building for that. Join war against... Profit uh, order your generals um, to march and attack. Economical power, very strong. I have no interest of in going into Spain. I really do. We can cut, we can swing around and come back down. No, I don't want to go, I don't want to join your war at the moment. I most likely will later on. That would be a good idea. Uh... If you guys can secure Spain for me, because that actually counts as my territories now that they're a client state. But once we take Masali and take out that faction, we that's probably what we could do. We could move down south and uh, 
help them. Gar um, yeah. yeah, I thought it was these guys going to be our protectors, but they obviously changed their mind. But, like I've said in many or so episodes, this is just a rough plan. So you guys, if you've got any constructive criticism or comments, or just you want to voice your opinion, I do try to reply to every single comment in the comment section down below. If I don't comment on it, I've read it. I, I read, like, all my comments. Like, I, well, I, yeah, I usually, I usually get through them. Obviously, not as soon as they've been uploaded, but I do eventually get through all of them. We have 4,000 now. That is a lot. That really is. Um, yes, but we can increase our stage equipment. So what can we recruit now? Oh my god! Roman onagers. Roman scorpio. Giant ballista. Oh my god. That's awesome. That is really is awesome. Okay, well, seeing as we can do that, Ready for battle. and we have my army nearby, there's no point of having Ballista. Yes. Um, let's move my glory. troops to Carthage. We're going to dismantle these just Ballista. And this will pay for, I think, we sh I don't know. We should go with one lot of Onagers and one lot of Ballista. That'd be even, so we can have Ballista firing at them, and... Uh, you know, ballista firing at them and fuck, um, onages. I don't know why I forgot what I was talking about then. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm quite we're happy with the way this is going. We obviously didn't get that settled, that was quite a disappointment. I had it like ready to embark and uh, have at it, really. Ready for orders. Um, yeah, That's we might as well bread that for starty. Um, I do need to move this spy down. I wanted to see those. Yeah, they're actually, they're only just troops. Except for, whoa, except for them. Yeah, so they're just troop ships there. How big is their garrison here? On the road again. I think they're too much. And do they have any of these settlements to the north? Okay, um, I'm going to end it here, guys. I've hoped you very much for joining the episode. And I truly, truly am sorry that we didn't do a battle. But I'm sure you'll forgive me. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I will start the next episode off with a battle if we're maybe attacking Massalia. Or we do get attacked by the Swaby or maybe some barbaric tribes. So, I'll leave it. I'll leave you guys to it. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. This has been Simpsy. I'm out, ladies, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> See you, mates. Hey guys, just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter and I'll reply to absolutely everything. On there you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up, when I've posted a video, and all that good stuff. So, uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So, bye guys.